Hello and welcome to the fourth video of this Facebook Ads Mastery course and um, in this video we are going to discuss some more things about business manager and ad account basically how to set up all the meta business suite and your ads manager so that we are ready to run any kind of campaign right it might be a bit boring but trust me this is the most important part where you learn how to set up and these things you don't do usually so you uh, sometimes forget so you need to have a strong understanding of how to set up but if you are a, a professional and you are going to let's say join an agency all of this will be already set up so you probably will directly go ahead and uh, run campaigns but trust me this is important information to know as well because i have seen people who directly joined agencies started working there and they became experts on facebook ads but they don't know these kind of things how to set up payment methods how to set up different kind of uh, entities so that's what we will discuss in this particular section how to add payment methods how to add pages to business manager and how to add users to business manager right you might be uh, a bit confused about we are learning so many things just put things into perspective so this is what we have been doing so far so we uh, first created this is like the ideal setup before you run the ads professionally you can skip some of these steps but it's always good to know information right so that's why i designed this course in such a way that before we start making actual campaigns you know how to basically set up everything and make your account ready to go live so the first thing we learned is have a facebook profile everyone needs to have a facebook profile if they want to run ads on facebook ads um, basically to use ad manager account and stuff and then um, you need to have a facebook uh, page which we created then we created a business manager account and then we created ad account in the last video we created these three things now basically we are ready we have an ad account now we can directly go ahead and run campaigns but in actual real life scenarios if you have to run these campaigns in ad account you basically need to have a payment method you need to because you need to pay facebook the campaign costs whatever uh, campaigns you run you uh, generally we do it through a credit card or a debit card but it depends on a lot of countries so for example in india they accept um i don't know upi or anything else as well maybe in certain countries they accept paypal as well but generally throughout the world cards uh, credit cards and debit cards are accepted so we will know how to add that payment method because unless you have a payment method added your campaigns can never run then we will know how to link or add the facebook page the, uh, the facebook page we created we will now link it to our business manager now the other way is once you create business manager then you create a facebook page but generally people create a facebook page separately and then link it which is uh, easy the, all of these things are easy it's just few steps and then we will know how to add users now this is an optional step so for example if you are a freelancer and you don't have anyone else in your team you will not need to add users but i will still show you it's very easy how to add users to your business manager and give them access and uh, then we will the last thing that is pending is set up conversion tracking which is only used for conversion campaigns so for example if you want to run lead gen ads awareness campaigns focusing on views increasing followers of facebook those kind of campaigns you don't need this but if you are running conversion campaigns meaning that you are sending uh, people who click on your ads to your website or app and you want them to take an action there which you want to kind of track in facebook how many of the people who clicked on the ad went to my website how many of uh, them filled the lead form on my website how many of them actually purchased something what was the total sales value of all the people who clicked on this campaign and how much products did they buy worth so all of that if you want to do like track things on your website or apps then you need to set up conversion tracking as well it's very important it's straightforward and basically that will be our next video once we have all this set up trust me we are good to go uh, we can go ahead and start campaigns and learn more about facebook ads strategies and stuff but this is like one of the important it's it's not boring but it's the most important part in um, learning facebook ads now the first thing we will learn is uh, adding payment methods because we already learned how up to how to create ad accounts now we will learn how to add payment methods now about payment methods you need to remember one um, small thing that there are two ways to add payment methods so one thing you need to remember is 
payment methods are added to each ad account right every ad account has a payment method so if you have two clients you have two ad accounts for them you can have separate payment methods let's say one credit card or one debit card for client one and one for the client two ad accounts so an ad account has a payment method right you add a payment method to an ad account <coughs> that's one way the other way is you add your payment method to your whole business manager so all the ad accounts that you add in that business manager can share that credit card but so in real life let me give you some examples so for example i was working for an agency let's say a small agency right we had 10 clients and for all the 10 clients we used the same company credit card right so we didn't have to add it to each ad account separately so what we did is we added it directly to the business manager any new ad account or existing ad account we had for any clients we used to select that so we don't have to add it every time in each ad account we add it at business manager level it's that's simple but even if you add it at the business manager level sometimes we would get a client they would say you, you have to use our credit card we can still go ahead and uh, for example choose a different credit card or a payment method for that ad account so it's up to you it's just for your ease you add it to your business manager and if you create a new ad account you still have an option to directly use the one added to the business manager or create a new one new payment method for this particular ad account or change it's that simple don't get confused in this okay so let's go um, to our business suite and uh, we will see how to add credit cards that is our next logical step i'll show you from until you get used i'll show you from the beginning again so this is the website you generally go to business.facebook.com it will take you to the business manager here so this is our business manager if you click here you see uh, this is our business manager if we have to go to business manager settings we click on this one like last video there are multiple ways to add it but this is the most easiest and simple one now we are in senator Viran ads business manager this is uh, these are the settings to this particular uh, business manager now on the left hand side you will see billing and payments now once you click on billing and payments it will take you here and if you see always check this we are in senator we run ads business manager click on payment methods it shows there are no payment methods added at the moment and this is fortunately this appeared and this is one good thing because we will get to learn something now now if you see it's saying that i as a user do not have edit permissions to add payment methods which means me as a user do not have permissions to add credit cards and stuff like that to change payment methods now for that what we do is we go here back to our business manager this is our business manager now to change anything we click on here then we click on the settings and now i will go to the users right people there's only one user which is always Ahmed. now in or because i don't have permissions i will have to give me permissions to add payment methods right because i am the admin if it happens to other people somebody says i'm not able to add credit card you go there onto their name and here now it shows that what all I have access to. So just next to my name, there's this, these three dots. Click on edit business account permissions. Now, if you see here, click on view advanced. I don't have finance um, access. It says none, right? So I'll click here and click on manage. So now I gave access to my, myself to change billing addresses, right? So if you if there is a user in your account and he's not able he sees the same message he'll not be able to because i am the admin i'm the creator of the account that's why i can provide access to myself that particular user will have to reach out to one of the admins now i click on refresh if you see the um, this should go away okay see the error message went away so i have access now uh, i can add a payment method now so i'll click on add business payment method i'll click on add okay it's showing um what region are you based in so i'll select germany um which currency do you want to pay in so my card is in euros so i'll pay in euros um and you have to do the same thing because um whatever card you have it's better to choose that particular currency and that region because sometimes in certain countries you can save on a um, lot of tax or show that you paid any kind of taxes like gst and stuff so based on um germany and a currency euro i get these two options in certain countries you will get maybe one more option which is very popular in your region right online banking uh, is one option and credit card you will see everywhere right so i will choose credit card and debit card i'll click on next and i just have to add 
name on the card, card number, this one and CVV and click on save. That's it. That's how you add a payment method. Now, um, because I don't have my card here at the moment, so I'll just skip this, but that's how you add it. You click on save. That's all. Now, what happens is if because this is added to the business manager, right? Now, in every ad account, you'll get an option. Do you want to create a new payment method or use the one in your business manager? So, for example, I have this open here, my ad manager account. So in this one, you can also go to settings of business because this is ad account, right? Uh, so it says here that uh, make payments, manage payments, etc. So I'll click on here. If you see, I'm in payment settings again, but this is always Ahmed Senator we run ads ad account. Okay, so um, this is the payment settings. What I'll do is I can click on add payment method. So generally, if you have already created one, um, I'll click on next. If you have already created one payment method in your business manager, you will get an option here. So generally, um, one more thing to remember is if you add uh, a payment method in your ad account, you might get some additional options, right? Because in business manager, you, you are considered by Facebook as a business. So it will give you limited options like a credit card or online banking. But in an ad account, it can be someone, a non-business user can do it. Like let's say I have a small business and I just want to run ads for myself. So then obviously Facebook gives a lot more options. So for example, if you see here, I get PayPal option as well, which I didn't get at business manager level, but at ad account level, you get this. So if you are looking for some options, which is only available in ad account, it's better to use uh, that payment method within your ad account and not at your business manager. Anyway, so I can add one more payment method to this ad account, which is always Senator Viran ads. But if I had already created a payment method because I did not save my card on at business manager level, then I will get an option here which says use uh, a payment method from your business manager. I would have to check that. It will automatically take that payment method and that card or whatever. So these are the two ways. Every ad account, you get an option to either add everything from scratch or you will get an option here that use payment method from your business manager if you have already added that. In our case, I did not add that, so it's not appearing here. So that is all about adding uh, payment methods. And um, basically, once you do that, then your credit card is linked. Once you run the campaigns, you will get deductions from your uh, payment method. Generally, what happens is when you use your credit card in, in a new ad account, Facebook will deduct small amounts in the beginning. So whenever you spend, let's say $10, Facebook will deduct from your card. As you keep running the campaigns, as Facebook keeps uh, deducting from your card, then Facebook will show you that your limit is increasing. So Facebook will trust you until maybe let's say $100. And every time you cross that amount, your campaigns cross that amount, then it will deduct and it will keep increasing. There will be a level, maybe Facebook will not deduct anything from your card until you spend $1,000 and stuff like that. But that um, that that happens with, with time. So this leads us to our second uh, point, which is how to link at the Facebook page. Now, obviously, like you, you need payment methods to use in an ad account. As we know from the beginning, we also need a Facebook page to run ads in an ad account. So that page has to be linked with your business manager and then you can link it, use it within any of your ad accounts, right? So how to use that is our next step, how to link or add the Facebook page. Now, you don't have to remember all of these steps like but whatever we are discussing you need to know how to do it and once you have are setting up everything you do it once you will remember all these steps right what are the requirements like adding a page adding a payment method it's pretty straightforward now for that what i'll do is i will again go to my business manager i will show you again from the beginning until you are used to the this ui so i'll go to business.facebook.com uh, it takes me here Okay, so in our case, what I'll do is I'll again go to the settings bar. I'll go, it will redirect me here. I'll go to business assets. You can see. So these are all the assets you can see here. For example, ad accounts. We have this ad account within this business manager, which we created in the previous video. And similarly, pages, you will see there is no page added as of now. Now, if you are confused, in the last video, we created the page. We have not linked that yet. Now, I can go ahead and create a page now. I can create new pages and add those later to my business manager account. 
Now for that, I'll go to pages. If you see, it says there's no page added to this business manager. I'll click on add pages. Uh, I'll get an option to create a new page. So if I hadn't created a page in my previous video, I'll still get an option to create new page here. But we have already created. So we'll go to uh, request to share a Facebook page because that already exists. And you will do the same thing if you are requesting a Facebook uh, page access to a client. So the client says, okay, you can run ads for us. You create an ad account for them but you still need access to your ad account access to on that page. So that's how you do it. So let's say you have all set up, you got a new client. Now, the only thing you need from client is the access to their Facebook page if they agree that you create an ad account in your business manager and everything. So this is the process you follow. So request to share a Facebook page. The third option, I don't have any page at the moment. So it's saying that there should be one primary page. If you already have page added and you're requesting with your client, you will not get this option, right? So I'll choose add a page. Uh, now Facebook page name or URL. Now, if you remember, this is our page AS Digital Training, which we created. So I'll copy the link. You can ask the same thing from your client to provide this particular link, or you can search for a name. Let's say uh, BBC. So it will show all BBC pages, right? So in our case, it's easier to uh, link because sometimes if it's a small page, it will not appear here. So just put the link here. It will show you, okay, the page name. Yes, this is the one. I'll click on add page, add ident undefined. Uh, since you are already page admin on this page, your request was approved automatically, right? So in your case, because I was the page admin already logged in, in your case, a request will be sent to the page admin of the page you are requesting access to. If it's a client's page, you tell them all the admins of that page in their company would have received a notification once they accept it. So um, now we already have pages added. Now we, I have this page, right? So let's suppose that you want to uh, now everything is done you get a client and they tell you that you want to shall run ads for us you create the ad account whatever and you will ask them okay we will need access to your page right you will need advertising access i'll show you we repeat the same process right for the new client we'll click on add we'll choose uh, request access to a page because they already have a page we just need access same thing you know it will ask okay uh, what's the url let's say um senator viran ads this is the page right okay so if this is my client i will just copy the link address like the previous one go here put it here it will show this one okay uh now because that one was my page i was already the admin in here it will ask you what kind of access are you requesting and this will be visible to the page admins as well so if you're only ha handling their advertising always you can choose this one content and messages and uh, click on request access once you click on request access the page admins of this page which is your client all the admins there will have a uh, see a request has been asking the people who manage senator viran ads to approve your request we will let you know if this is approved so it will be listed here but it will show pending um, request pending so once they approve uh, the request it will show here as well and it will show something like business page right now um, that was about how do we add or link the facebook page now the third thing we are going to discuss in this video is how to add users. Let's say you created the business manager. Now you have multiple uh, <clears throat> people in your company. You want to share access to them. So um, let's say I'll just repeat a bit. Let's say I have one more pe person in my company. I'll add them to business manager. So any ad accounts and pages in my business manager, I can provide him access at once. So I'll add him to my business manager and say he should have access to all ad accounts. Ad account one, two, three whatever, right? It becomes easy. And anyone, any new client who gives access to our business manager, in turn, I can provide access to this particular user. So they don't need to add me and him separately. They just provide access to business manager. We have been discussing this in our previous videos as well. So uh, to add users, I will show you again, just remember this particular site, business.facebook.com again and again. The first thing I check is, okay, uh, this is the ACE uh, Senator Viran Ads Business Manager. That is what I have to um, add him to. If I have multiple access, multi access to multiple business managers, always check this. This should be step two. Yes, I'll go to settings of this particular business manager. 
yeah so you go to people if you see there is one person at the moment now it will show you what the type of access they have i'll click on add people let's say email address so you will have to give their email address and they will get an email click on it they will have to log in using their facebook profile and that facebook profile will in turn get access to this one senatorvirun.com so this email address will get an email that th this person is inviting you to their business manager they'll have to click on link and blah 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 now you can provide temporary access as well so if you for example um, want to provide access to next three months six months as we discussed if you have an intern let's say and you know that they'll be working here for only three months so you can provide temporary access until a particular date but if it's a full-time employee you don't know until when you need the access so you just turn it off I'll click on next it will again ask me the same things what kind of role so for this person let's say I give them full control I give them I don't give them full control but I give them finance uh, con uh, finance role so that they can add credit cards payment methods or whatever I need from them right we know who we are providing access to so I'll click on manage and click on next uh, assign info senator we run ads access to Facebook pages see right now it will show you all so if i have four clients and four facebook pages four ad accounts i can choose which ones they have access to so at the moment i'll say okay uh, face this ace digital training facebook page ad account and senator viran ads facebook uh, page as well now uh, if you see this is all the entities i have so for example if i have new client I create a new ad account for them. I get access to their Facebook page. I can here choose. Okay, this person should have access to those as well. So you can literally choose this. You can later change it as well. But initially, while sending a request, you can already choose it. Uh, send a request. And your invitation uh, to join business manager account is on the way. The invitation will expire in 30 days. So that person will get an email. And within 30 days, they'll have to click on this. If they don't, the invitation will be expired. And once they accept, if you come here to settings and people, you will see invitation. It will say invitation accepted. And that is basically how you add people to your account. Now, if you want to later change their access uh, level, we go back. We come to the same place here. Business manager settings. We go to people. Let's say I want to change their access. I can click here and I can choose um, access. Um, so this say, says that it has been sent, but I can click on assign assets and I can choose, okay, Ace Digital and Senator Viran Ad, they should have this, 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 this access. You can go through this, it's pretty straightforward. But um, yeah, that is um, what how to add users. So now we are completely done, right? We know all of this. This is once, uh, once you have to learn it at least once if you're setting up everything from scratch. But if you join a company, they'll have already all of this set up, but it's still good to know. The only thing pending now is set up uh, conversion tracking, which is easy as well. We can go ahead and create multiple types of campaigns we don't need set up to set up conversion tracking and we could have done it later but i wanted to show you um, i wanted to finish basically all of this setup admin kind of work in the beginning so that we can focus on uh, creating campaigns and how to strategize those campaigns how to create different kind of campaigns profitable campaigns and everything so the next video would be about how to set up conversion tracking and then we will move to creating campaigns. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.